meet Rivian R1T. I've been dying to review this fully electric pickup truck forever now. It's so cool. It has so many crazy features and hidden features. We're gonna go step by step, one by one, but let's start with the front, right? Come here. There is this Rivian logo in the front here. You have the daytime running lights, the light bar here. And this oval right here is also your daytime running light. Your headlights are actually inside with the little Rivian logo here and here you're gonna see by the way Rivian logos all over this car it's literally everywhere and then because it's a fully electric car there is no giant engine under the hood right so how do you open it there are three ways to open this hood or you use this key or you use the screen inside which I'll show you once we get in or you slide your fingers here until you feel a button you press on it you have to unlock the car first. <laughs> you press on it and it automatically opens up. And then this is where it starts. Come and have a look at this. This is completely crazy. You get in and there is so much space. I literally feel like I'm about to say space, cargo and, and storage about 5 million times in the next half an hour. So you lift the floor up. And there are two gigantic magnets over here. As you push it to the back, you create more storage space over here. And it's really cool. You also have extra charging ports on the side. And just in case you plan on carrying a person inside of here, there is emergency release button. Yeah, I know. It's so weird, but it will get weirder. Trust me. I am obsessed with this truck just for this one thing. And then if you want to close it again, the Rivian logo is here. And then if you want to close it, we can now close it with a uh, double click on the key or you just find your little button over here. We have these towing hoods in the front. This car can actually tow 5,000 kilograms. See this little door here? There is magic behind it. Very, very light tap of your finger opens your charging port and then with a little touch, it literally is a tap. It's not even a press, it's just a gentle tap. It opens and closes. And then here we have our 21 inch all terrain wheels. They are absolutely massive. And your Rivian logo here. It's really nice because it has the yellow detail here. I really like that. My all time favorite part and thing about this car is right here. I absolutely love this thing. It's so weird. I only seen this once in my life before. So right here, we have a little hidden button. You press on that and the gear tunnel door opens. But wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna go from the other side to open the second one. Oh my God, I'm gonna get claustrophobic. Oh my God, why did I eat lunch? I could never be in army. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh my God. See, I told you I can fit in. <laughs> oh, oh, I would never do that again. But if by any accident I get locked in or someone locks you in, right here inside, there's another emergency release button in case someone kidnaps you, you know? Then over here, this can be used for many things. 110 kilos. So you can use it as your camping chair or inside you have your first aid kit hidden and there are charging ports inside and that's because for extra just over five thousand dollars you can purchase your camp kitchen we don't have that here but that is absolutely insane you literally pull out a whole kitchen with a little stove and a sink and with little compartments where you have your plates and and cups and everything and you can literally cook breakfast while camping it is so cool i was really hoping it's going to be here but it's not as we move to the back these are your turning signals and your brake lights here you have r1t and a huge rivian sign but how do you open your bed 
there are two buttons here they are hidden you you might not even notice them you just press on this one and the whole bed automatically opens and then you hit the second one and your roof moves back pretty cool right now oh i've never did so much climbing in my life let me get rid of these this is super easy lift up unclip and you can use these crossbars as your roof racks so that's why that step stayed open you know you step on that and you install them over here i'll have to shorten them and you get the point and they just click in and that's it so they actually can be used on both then come on here there is so much stuff at the back of this trunk i can't even believe it right let me start with this this right here is your built-in compressor so when you go on your adventures and you need to air down you just plug your air hose in here put the air back in and you're good to go again and now this is something very cool as well you see these this is something called a Rivian gear guard system what happens is you plug this in here then you put this through whatever you have at, at, inside of your bed like bicycle or motorbike or i don't know anything you're carrying around and then you plug the second end in and as you lock your car it locks in and you can't move it so think of it as a gigantic car bicycle chain <laughs> did that make sense yeah it makes sense you get what i mean right then we have a few more plugs over here and as i move down from here sorry oh, that's a lot of climbing for a small person if i lift this up there is your spare tire here but you can remove that and it actually becomes a large cooler so you can fill it up with water and ice put your drinks in there while you're camping and then there's a little screw that you turn and the water just comes out <laughs> right as i told you there are hidden charging ports over here right there's yet another emergency relief button here so that's three that we already saw i've never seen a car with three emergency release buttons there's gonna be some dodgy business going on here i don't know like i <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know why you need three, but this is clearly a kidnapper car. <laughs> it is. <laughs> the cameraman is laughing, but it is. It's three release buttons. Right. Let's close this. It's beautiful. Just look at it. It's so huge. And I love this because it's fully electric, right? And there's only batteries. You don't really, not, not that you don't really, you don't have exhausts. And they made this. It looks like there are exhausts, but there, there aren't any. Shame. There is no sound, but there is a different sound. Are you ready? Listen to this. You know how when you lock your car, sometimes you goes beep, beep, and it does these really annoying, weird noises. Listen to this. I hope it's not too windy and you can hear it. You heard that? One more time. Listen, listen, listen. It's a bird singing sound. <laughs> it's not that annoying. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> that, that would make my camping so much better. I don't know about you. Another fun fact is that if this is open, Rivian won't let you leave. You can't move the car as long as any of your gear channels or your or your bed or anything is open. Let me just close this. Isn't that crazy? Crazy good, I mean. There are four ways to actually unlock your Rivian. First one is the key. We already saw that it makes that really nice bird singing sound. Second is this key card. So that's like opening your hotel room. I mean, that's the size of the Rivian anyway. The only thing that actually is missing for you to be able to live there is, is toilet. They can work on that. Third is this bracelet. So if you go running or swimming and you don't want to have anything in your pockets, you have this little Rivian band. It's okay. And the fourth one 
is your Rivian mobile app. And I don't have that because I don't own this car. So, but let's have a closer look at the interior. Let me unlock it. Flash door handles. Now look at that. Let's have a look at the door first. You see this? You have a little storage pocket over here. As well, as, as I told you, there is no waste space here. Under your seat here, there's like a mini itty bitty pocket here. Your seat adjustment. Another Rivian logo. Wait for it. Another Rivian logo. And if you didn't know what you're driving, there is another Rivian logo, just in case you forgot. Now you know. <laughs> I absolutely love this. You know how Rolls Royce has the umbrella inside of the door? Well, Rivian has a flashlight to take on your camping adventures, and it's pretty strong. It actually charges in there. And I heard that there used to be 7,776 batteries. And then Ravine went, hmm, but we don't like that number. So they actually put this flash flashlight in here. So they made it 7,777 batteries. <laughs> this is cool. I really like that. But there's more hidden gems inside. So let's go inside and I can show you. You're going to be mind blowing. We have really, really nice leather interior, but it feels like leather. It smells like leather. It actually doesn't. It smells like a salad. It's all vegan. This is all vegan leather with the little Rivian logo again. And everything you see around is recycled materials. Even your floor mats are recycled materials. Apart from the wood, of course. That's not recycled wood, as long as I know. I probably said I'm going to show you my favorite thing about 100 times now, but all of it is my favorite thing. I can't help it. So look at this. If I put my hand down here and I pull, there is a hidden speaker down there that actually is wireless charging the whole time you're in a car or you're not in the car as well. And there is a light that you can turn on here. So you can literally camp and have a little camping party in the middle. It's really cool. That's really cool. And then where's the cap holders? They are right here. You just press that little button here and they come up. It's, it's cool because it doesn't take up so much space. A little wooden detail here with your wireless charging pad here. And if you get closer, these are little Rivian logos. That's pretty cool. Then, again, a little button here. And your central console storage space opens up. You just close it down. And now... Another fun begins. This car is just full of surprises. I, I don't even know if I can point at everything because there's so many things and so many features. It's so cool. Like, have you seen these speakers? How cool are those? Joking, those are not speakers. <laughs> but they look like speakers, no? When I saw that, I'm like, those are really cool speakers. They're not speakers. Okay, not moving on. <laughs> so everything is literally controlled on this screen everything first and very funny thing is do you see this little yeti here this is your gear guard so there are 11 cameras around your car right so if you lock your car and anyone is trying to scratch it or get in or steal something from the back this yeti comes right here he literally just pops up in the middle of the screen with a little camera in his head to tell you I'm watching you. You're not stealing or damaging my car. And they made him so cute. I don't, I don't know. He's not really freaking me out. I would scratch the car just to see him pop up. No, I wouldn't. It's actually not that easy to get in because of the angle, right? But look at this. There is more hidden storage. I told you I'm going to say storage a million times. Cap holders. Then you have your little storage department here. And there is a small door here to give food to your... Um, Hostage. <laughs> no, it's to, to enter your your gear channel. Very comfy seats, lots of head headroom, lots of 
black room. We still have the foil on the screen. Ah, satisfying. Two charging ports, your climate control, heated seats. We have a little more storage here. We have a hook for whatever you need to use that for and a USB port over here. Rivian logo on the seats, of course. Very, very comfortable back row. So you can open the hood with the key, as I told you, with the button that we saw um, in the front and open hood. It automatically comes up, close hood. It closes, it's the same for the charge port. It's opening and then you can just close it. And it's really visual, so it shows you exactly what you're doing. And then this is how you adjust your steering wheel. See that? You click on that and then you use these buttons. You see how low it's going? And then up and then reach. And then you can just press remember and it will remember your settings. And it's exactly the same for your mirrors. You can check on those, you can unfold them and you can also adjust them with these buttons. You see how they move? Do you see these? Watch this. Here are your vents, right? So watch the vent. As I slide my finger, vent moves. So it follows the way you point on the screen. There are five different driving modes, but I'll show you that when we drive. And there is, of course, your digital driver screen. And whatever happens there, you will see once we start driving, because right now it's just very simple. It tells you you're in park and that's it. But when we drive, it will literally tell you where are the cars around you and everything. So we go through that after. Let me launch it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that is fast. For a car this big and this heavy, this is literally like 2,800 kilograms over. It's it's crazy. It's it's very very fast. You will definitely have a lot of fun driving this. important thing is what is under the hood we have 800 horsepower with 900 newton meters of torque that goes from 0 to 100 in three seconds this thing is so heavy so long and yet so fast and so easy to drive and very 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 comfortable to drive as well see that look at my driver's digital screen there's a car next to me and a person and the display showed the person walking and the car next to me look at this so if i go here you see it's showing that there's a person walking and the truck in front of me look at this guy if i go near this guy you see it's showing that the guy is walking away from me that is really really cool well that is it from me and the amazing rivian pickup truck I am so happy I finally got to see it in, in real life and I got to drive it as well. And that is thanks to our Raunag Motors who allowed me to borrow this amazing truck and tried it for a day. Well, that is from us. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I see you next time. Bye guys.